This video will walk you through some basic troubleshooting for remote viewing of your CCTV surveillance cameras. In this video, we're using an LTS DVR, but you would follow the same steps regardless of if you're using a Hike Vision DVR or LTS DVR. The first thing you want to check is the power LED on the front panel of the DVR. If this LED is lit up, that indicates that your DVR currently has power. If this light is not lit up, Check the back of the DVR to make sure that the power cord is still plugged into the DVR and that that cord is also plugged into an electrical outlet. Additionally, there is a power switch on the back of the DVR. Ensure that power switch is in the on position. Next, you want to check the TXRX LED light to ensure that that is on. This light indicates that your DVR is currently connected to the internet. If this light is not lit up, Check the connection from the LAN port on the back of your DVR to your Wi-Fi router to make sure it's still connected to your router. After checking the LED indicator lights on the front panel of your DVR, you need to hop on a computer and open up any web browser and go to the website www.canyouseeme.org. This website will allow you to verify that our port forwarding rules for your router are still in place. Once the web page loads, we need to check two ports to make sure that they're still open. So in the port to check field, type in 88 and then click on the blue check port button below. If the web page comes back reading success, that indicates that our port forwarding rules for port 88 are still in place. Next, we need to repeat the process for port 8000 to check the port and make sure it's still open. If you received a success message for both ports, that typically indicates that the IP address of your public network changed, and we need to update the public IP address of your network into the NVMS 7000 app on your smartphone. Your new public IP address can be located right here on the canyouseeme.org website. Next, grab your smartphone and open the NVMS 7000 app. Then you want to click on the menu icon at the top left corner of the app Next, you want to click on the Devices tab in the menu, and then click on your device from the devices listed. Then you want to click the Edit button, which is located at the top right corner of the app, and looks like a pencil. Now, you want to delete the old IP address from the Address field on your device, and replace that with your new public IP address that you found on the canyouseeme.org website. Click the Save button at the top right corner of the app. Then, you want to click the Start Live View button at the bottom of the app. This should pull up live view of your cameras, and your remote viewing for your CCTV cameras has now been resolved. If these troubleshooting steps did not resolve your issue, please give us a call at 1-800-308-2641 so we can take additional steps.